Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is 7.36 a.m. on Friday, the 28th of September. In my hand, I have a very skittish, very silly little saber slash cream. It's finally her turn. I've had Cookie slash Dr. Snurf out, but it's finally her turn. She's back in the barrel. I'm hanging on to her because I don't want her to back up and off my hand. She's been out of circulation for a while. So she, she's young and female and skittish, and so I just want to make sure she doesn't do anything silly. So she doesn't mind. As long as you don't touch their whiskers, you're pretty much okay. So I'm going to put her back in her cage because she's a sweetie and wants to go back. And I don't want her to jump because she's silly. So come on, little one. There you go. Into your nest. Ta-da. Very, very good. Oh, boy. Oh boy. The universe does not like me on Fridays. Thursdays and Fridays are usually bad. Why? Well, on Thursdays I go to therapy. And then on Fridays, the universe punishes me for going to therapy. Why would I say that? Because it's Thursday and Friday when bad things happen now. A couple months back, two months back, my video card on my computer died. Worked fine Thursday night. Five hours later, Friday morning, dead. So my computer was down until I figured out what was going on. This morning, Friday morning, went to therapy, came in, computer didn't work. Video card died. So, it took a while for me to figure, you know what, I bet it's the card. So I opened up the computer, took out the video card, and it boots up and runs. It doesn't boot up and run well. I have one gigabyte of onboard video RAM, and that's it for video. So a hell of a lot of games are no longer going to work. I can no longer play No Man's Sky for the channel. I don't have a video card that'll play it. It needs 1.5 gigabytes of video RAM. I have one. So, until I get another card, and right now, I'm still always like minus 400 or more in my checking account, I can't afford a card. So, I'm back down to my limping machine, and I won't be able to do a lot of things that I've been wanting to do, so yay. And of course, because the video card is gone, right now I have a regular, what is it, DVA or DVR or whatever. It's, it's one of those like massive pin connectors that goes from the back of the computer on the motherboard to the monitor. There's also an HDMI cable, but because I don't have a video card, I can do one or the other. If I plug in my HDMI cable to my second monitor, this display turns off because I can do one or I can do the other. I can't do both. So I'm one monitor system again. Yay. Life is life. So it's not going to do stuff well or much, but at least it's working. I'm online. Hopefully Comcast doesn't go down. I mean, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? But Comcast is still up and running. My electricity is going. So it's a good thing. Now, with my PS4, I can't put it into rest mode. Because if I just turn it off every single day, and this is another one of those thanks, universe. If I keep it in off mode, just turn it off when I'm not using it, everything's fine. I put it into wait mode so they could rest which is this low power, it could charge itself up, that's when the power went out. And of course, every time it's in rest mode, the power goes out, it treats it like you went and did something to deliberately damage the system, and if it isn't damaged, then you're just freaking lucky, you shouldn't be an idiot, treat this machine right. But it's like, the power goes out, it's not my fault. So far, every time my PS4 has powered off like that, it has not been me. So, don't keep yelling at me. I mean, I'm sorry. Jeez. The whole entirety of the house outside there just went crickety crackety crickety crunch like there is a, a troll or something walking around outside. 
you know, not like a, an internet troll, but a real you know, bulky, eats human flesh kind of troll. Thumbs up for that. What else was I going to say? Yeah, I went walkies last night. Quite a big walkies, too. I traveled... I've talked about how before in... There's downtown, and then there's the two paths that go into northern Shelton. Not paths, major roads. And with the, if you can't go up one of those major roads, there's way off to the east a whole bunch of minor little roads that'll sort of, when you go out onto Highway 3, if you swing around, you can really get back into town, but you've got to swing way out into the county and then come back in. So if those two roads are down, you're stuck. Well, the two roads are down. They're doing construction. But I went up and I walked all the way up into northern Shelton, top of where they're doing the construction on the big section of road. And even though it was dark, I had my, my flashlight. That's what the word is. I had my flashlight and I did a walkies of the whole construction area from all the way up, walking all the way down the torn up section of road. I like doing that because I like the construction stuff. I think it's really cool. Definitely a good thing. And of course, I continue to be terrified by global climate change. We're about 20 or 30 years too late to do anything. And I, I mentioned this because I saw someone on Twitter that talked about this, and I mentioned what I knew, and then they threw back with, yeah, it's like, if the way, if things continue going the way they are now, huge portions within the next 50 years, huge portions, of the entire world are going to be completely uninhabitable. And they will not be good for anything. They will just be effectively deserts. So we're going to lose a lot of land to heat and to water because the water has been rising and that's special. That's why we've got so many hurricanes and stuff this, with the global climate change. It's not good. So. I don't see much hope for the future. I mean, literally, people, we, things start to cook at like 120 degrees plus. So if the air hits 120 degrees, you are going to start to die. We're already, just in the United States alone, hitting temps of 110 in places. People are dying around the world now because of the heat and it's only going to get worse especially since here in the united states apparently donald trump and the donald trump administration has decided that global climate change is real and it's catastrophic and we might as well loosen all the restrictions on gases that caused global warming because it's so catastrophic we're all going to die anyway so let's just loosen all the restrictions on it so we can really pour the greenhouse gases out I don't know what we're going to do. Everything we needed to do, we should have done 20 and 30 years ago, and we didn't. And we're treating it like it's a joke, and it's not. The hurricanes are a direct result of this. All the horrible stuff happening with weather and heat around the world is directly related. And being a science denier is insane. So yay. Now that is something. I was talking about a, a short story slash fiction thing that I wanted to do. Like it matters if we're all going to start dying here. But still, where I had said that I wanted to have a electromagnetic anomaly. Like a huge chunk of magnetized iron inside of some mountains that would just mess up stuff so that you couldn't have like cell phones and the like. And I mentioned that, oh, that there are things like gravitational anomalies. And, well, yeah, there are gravitational anomalies. That's not the point. It's, I've had people in comments say, well, the gravitational stuff, it's, it's so small. It's like, that's not the point. I was just pointing out that there are gravitational anomalies to point out that there are anomalies. The important part here is that there's a huge chunk of magnetized iron. And with the water that flows through the magnetized iron, everything is orange from the rust around this water. 
and the water vapor that goes up into the sky is filled with iron particles and so that interferes as well with the cell phone transmissions, satellite transmissions. They're not isolated. They've got phones, landlines, they've got cable TV, they've got internet. It's just, it's all got to be wired. Anything that's otherwise, it's the electromagnetic interference from the huge chunk of magnetized iron inside of the mountains. So, I think it works. Scientifically, I think it works, which for me makes a big difference because when I with work with fiction and the real world, I look at I don't think anything supernatural or otherworldly happens in our universe. I don't think it can. Our physical laws are like a Faraday cage for our universe. You would have to break the second law of thermodynamics. Matter cannot be destroyed. Matter cannot be created. Energy cannot be destroyed. Energy cannot be created. You can convert matter to energy. You can convert energy to matter, but you cannot create just one or the other. And magic, by definition, otherworldly stuff, supernatural stuff, breaks that entirely. And we know what happens when simple things break in, in our world. Fission, fusion, nuclear explosions. If something happened, a supernatural thing, I feel, and this is what I'm trying to wrap my head around this to try and get other ways so I can write supernatural stuff, but if something supernatural happened in our world, I think it would be so intensely catastrophic. It would be like a couple hydrogen bombs going off in one area because you have broken the physical laws so thoroughly. And in our universe, when you come even close to breaking that stuff, you release energy. And there is a lot of energy in our universe. So I have a feeling if there was anything supernatural that really could happen, it would break our physical law so thoroughly that the resultant explosion, catastrophic release of energy, you can't just break the second law of thermodynamics and have the universe go, oh, okay. Everything is dependent on all of these laws, so intertwined and interconnected. It's like a Faraday cage. And a Faraday cage is, is just a protector. Like there's people that work on high tension power lines with huge amounts of electricity running through them. They can't just shut off the electricity. So what do they do? These people wear Faraday cages. It's a metal, basically a chain mail suit that covers them entirely. And because it is a Faraday cage, they crawl around on the high tension wires and the stuff just goes through the cage and doesn't affect them. It's just a metal suit and it protects them from the electromagnetic power of the, the power lines. Now it's crazy because you're sometimes dangling a hundred and some or more feet above the ground on the wires themselves as you're repairing them. And you've got a, a fellow, 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 you know, male, female, doesn't matter. That's a, even though it's a gendered term, it's, I mean, in a non-gendered way, you've got a person driving their helicopter inches away from the lines with the blades. You have got to be an absolute adrenaline junkie to work on high tension power lines. And it's crazy. And e even refrigerators. Like if you put batteries inside of a refrigerator and electromagnetic pulse went off, it's a weak Faraday cage, but it's a Faraday cage. It will protect things from like electromagnetic pulses if you've got enough metal in your refrigerator. It's a Faraday cage. And I think the physical laws of our universe act as a Faraday cage to protect this universe. If there is magic and supernatural stuff, I don't think it could work within the constraints of the Faraday cage of our universe. That's just my views. And so I'm trying to make things work within the constraints of how I think the universe works to make my Lovecraftian story work. Oh yes, because it is very a Lovecraftian tale. Thumbs up for that. Oh shucks. Well, if I work for half a nerf, if you like watching people play video games, especially older people play video games, I do have a game channel. I'm going to be playing games that don't require RAM. 
till I can get a video card, but until that time, I'm still going to be playing something, anything, just not anything really video intensive. But still, if you could check it out, it'd be awesome. It's not monetized. I'd like to get it monetized, but even if I don't, I'm still going to make videos. I like making videos. I like that people watch them. It is a very good thing. Thumbs up for that. I've also opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people. It is a range. I just hit my pop screen. It is a range because even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with depression, fibromyalgia, post-acute withdrawal syndrome, widower brain and more, even though I'm putting myself back together and getting better a little tiny bit every day, it's still a mess and it's hard to concentrate. So. And if I mispronounce your username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. I'm better than most, but. And I am not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read the comments afterward. I'm going to thumbs up each one I do, answer as many as I can. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. So good comment, bad comment, and different comment. The fact is you left me a comment. Thank you so very, very much. It is appreciated. It's calling up my Chrome, I hope. We have Thomas S. Greatly appreciated. Herman Sosa. Thumbs up and thank you. The Vioxat, V-O-V-E-O-X-A-T. Thank you very, very much. Maddox with a zero and not an O. Kathy Kitzkat, greatly appreciated. Bohemian Berkeley, thank you. My Boy, greatly appreciated. Lil Bo Peep, thank you very, very much. Mokato Higashi, I sure hope I'm close. Ollie B, greatly appreciated. Ashara Dane, thank you very, very much. Pablo Hernandez. Greatly appreciated. Hunter O, thank you very, very much. Okama YT, greatly appreciated. Tim, <laughs> thumbs up and thank you. I'm just laughing because that's a short name. Thank you very, very much. It is appreciated. Carl Pilkington, greatly appreciated. Sebastian Ferris, thumbs up and thank you. Lexmark66, thumbs up. Gavin Reinhardt, greatly appreciated. CX on chord. It's one word, so I'm actually not sure how that's pronounced, but it's a CX and an on chord. Thank you very, very much. And Ghost in the Top Hat. I like that. Thumbs up. Junas Jupila. I hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Ozzy Villanueva. Thank you very, very much. And Jane McIntosh. Thumbs up and thank you. And Lucid PT. Greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you has stated to get me out of this. Well, it's still the depressed skull. So thank you. And out into the real world, dealing with actual people. It is a very good thing. Thank you so very, very much. Well, 17 minutes and 24 seconds. I might as well do this. I have a... What do I have? What was I going to say? Uh, well, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say I have something, but I also have links down below. If you can check those out, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. I have no idea what I was going to say. I mean, it was like I came up total blank. That is weird. So if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be, can you guess? Indeed, beautiful and awesome. But if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart, so thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my assistance. Definitely a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. I would understand if you don't want to. I'm a weird older guy. I've been very depressed. I'm putting myself back together. I'm not normal, but that's okay. Yeah, if, if you do subscribe, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. I'm not normal. I don't fit in. I'm turning 56 next month, and I don't fit in with other people my age. I find other people my age so boring. I don't know how to talk to people my age. I really don't. I, I they, People my age don't like comic books and role-playing games and computer games and computers and consoles and all the stuff that I like because I'm basically immature but it's more fun that way. So I don't really feel comfortable around people my age. Thumbs up for that. Anyway, I'm gonna hopefully have a game video for the channel today, hopefully a reaction video. <laughs> I'm kind of a mess up here because of my computer car dying again, thumbs up. But still, I'm gonna try and do as much as I can for this channel, for the game channel. Maybe I'll even manage to live stream off my PS4 because I can't do a ton now off this again. Thumbs up. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing.
this is only going to be it's going to be close to 20 minutes but not exactly so hey what the hell at least we're close you take care